Hey guys, welcome to the Traditional Bow Hunting and Wilderness Podcast. This is Jason Samkoviak. Today we're going to take a minute and we're going to talk about two great bino harnesses. Um, when I was down in Georgia hunting down there, it was raining in miserable weather, uh, spot and stalk conditions for pigs in, uh, in the mountains there. And with that rain, I was slipping and sliding all the time and I got really tired of falling constantly, like like a few dozen times of falling just due to the, the slick, wet terrain and the steepness of that and uh, biting and falling, coming up with my binoculars being covered in mud. Um, and I didn't want to have to deal with that anymore, so I told myself when I got back home, I was going to buy a bino harness for those types of trips. When I'm hunting in my tree stand, I don't use one. I keep my, my, uh, my binoculars are in my pack, I climb up my tree, I get my stand hung, everything's set, I put them on, they hang there, they don't bother me, um, no big deal. But for those kind of conditions now, I want something where I am, like I'm going back down to Georgia here in April, and I'm going to go down there and hunt some more pigs and turkeys. I'll be spot and stalk type stuff. I want something to protect my binoculars a little bit better. So I looked into harnesses. There's a lot of harnesses out there. I talked to a lot of people that use them. Everybody had great opinions on a lot of them and what they do and don't like. I picked two that were based on what I'm interested in, and I want minimalist. I, I have a backpack. I don't need to put crap on in my um, my bino harness. I don't need a rangefinder. I'm a traditional bow hunter. I don't use a rangefinder. So there's um, a lot of other ones out there that offer a lot more if you want a lot more space. I wanted pure minimalist, the smallest, the most less restrictive, most out of the way, most inconspicuous type of a bino harness to protect my binoculars that, that I could find led me to two different ones. Um, so those are the ones we have here. And I actually bought both of them. And I bought them both with the intention of sending one back. And I'm probably going to send one back, but man, I'll tell you, the decision was much harder than I could have ever imagined. So what we have are these two right here. And I'll tell you the reason I picked them. One is the Kuyu Bino Harness incredible setup. The other one is the Alps Outdoors. This one happens to be the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation version. It was three dollars cheaper and it had prime shipping. Um, so that rather than the one it just had the Alps Outdoors X for the extreme on there. But they're both exactly the same. Uh, like I said this one couple bucks cheaper and faster shipping so I bought that one and I don't mind. I, I like the fact that some of the profit does go to the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation. So um, there will be links for both of these down here below for you and uh, as well as some of the other ones that I've heard great things about. So I'll put a couple of those down there for you too uh, that you that might be something for you to compare with. But these two I bought because of the reason that this one, there's nothing else out there like this. Not that I could find it's a, it is much, or has much in common with this Kuyu one as it does, uh, which we'll get into. And then the other one is this one here, which there is like the FHF. Um, Hunt Fish Fight is the name of the company. They're an all US made company and it's very similar to this style. Um, probably a little better made I'm guessing but it's also more than double the price. I did set a rule for myself that I would not spend over $100. Uh, no offense to anybody that charges more than $100 but come on really. I mean I can buy backpacks made out of the same stuff that are three times the size have way more moving parts and components for $100. So the price of these things are, are actually getting pretty ridiculous for what you're getting for them. There's, there's no doubt about it. This is not rocket science. There's no massive major technology that's into a bino harness. It's a pouch and a pocket and some straps. I mean, there's no reason for them to cost what they do, which is also the reason I did not buy an uh, F or uh, whatever FHF one because I didn't feel like spending a hundred and whatever it is, 120 bucks or sh with shipping and stuff on them. Is it good? Probably incredible. Very similar to this as far as design. So if I knew if I liked this design, then I would probably like that design. So I didn't have to buy it anyway. I could test it with this. So I bought this Alps one, very, very affordable, under $50 kind of setup, um, um, and a phenomenal, and, and a great one. Now, with this one on, what you have, very simple, both of them, they're going to be this Alps Outdoors one, you got a um, lightweight, very minimalist design, okay? I don't want big, huge, bulky straps. I, I wanted minimalist. I, I'm not worried about the weight, which these do carry. Both these carry them very nice. But minimalist style is what mattered to me um, more than extra options or frills. But with this style, you just put it right on over your head just like this. You set it on here, and it's going to wear right there. These are tethers for your binoculars. You grab your side strap, pull it around, and you buckle it right in. 
and you are set. Now, this one does have a little bit of elastic to it, okay? So you, you can adjust these right here like this, but it does have a little bit of elastic right here, which is kind of nice, keeps it tight. Notice I like mine high. I don't wear them down here. I want my binoculars right here where they're close and high and tight to me. This pack does a great job. Your binos will connect with these two here, which is nice. Because see, notice when I pull my binos out, which I'll put them in here and show you, but see how this is still connected? The whole thing is connected. Nice feature to this. Now, when you have your binoculars, which I will pop these off of here, I can still leave Kuyu buckles on there, but I'll take these. So forget these little black straps there from that Kuyu, but we're just going to use it as reference because it's easier instead of switching them out and having to go through that. But this system here, Pull the loop off, this comes up and out of the way, and then you stick your binos right on the inside of this just like that. Comes over, this closes in and buckles. Now this is a adjustable buckle, so you can put it there and snug it down. This is all one whole loop with a rollover knot in there kind of thing. So you can adjust both of them, you can adjust just one of them, you can cut this and change it, do whatever you want to do to it, doesn't matter, you got options. But you can see that this rides. Those would be sitting in there with that binocular. This rides very nice, very tight, very perfect to your body. Um, again, um, this thing here, this double loop system, um, if I keep this one, then what I will do is I will actually cut this and just tie it the length I need and let the knot sit behind here. This double loop thing is kind of weird. One usually goes on, the other one doesn't very well. You gotta pull both off or the other one, or see how I'm fighting with this? trying to get it, then that one hooks and the other one doesn't, and it's, uh, this system I'm not really a fan of, okay? It should be one pull tab and you should be able to adjust it. Very easy to do by taking and cutting this with a knife, getting about the length you need, and then just tying an overhand knot in it and rolling that knot so it hides behind here, so that all you have then is basically just this one, that you pull down and you hook it on there like that and you're good. So that's what I will do with this, so it is simpler. This two-handed, weird, double kind of kick over thing I'm not a fan of. It's just too much going on on here to get that set like I want. So that I'm not a huge fan of, but it's an easy fix. See how that one just doesn't even stay on there? But easy solution there. But what's nice about this, like I said, you have that harness held up there. This is tight to your body. It is not going anywhere. Both of these, the second I got them, I took my, I got and put my coat on. It's cold outside. It's winter. Well, I basically walked all the way around my entire subdivision. So it's two miles around and I was pulling them in and out everywhere, uh, leaning against trees, you know, getting down on my knees so I could see, trying it with just one hand, seeing how easy it is to do this with strictly one hand movement like this and then seeing how hard it is to put them back in with one hand if I needed to put them back in with one hand. So I walked these through the paces um, to see what I did and didn't like. This one, incredible. It does exactly what you want it to do. It does have a pocket on this side for you to put a wind detector or anything you want to in there, which I like. I would put my milkweed right in the side of that. That's something that I'm always digging in and out of my pocket for. It'd be nice to have that milkweed sitting right there. So I, I definitely like that option. I do like the fact that when you pull these out and you put your binoculars up, they are still tethered here, and this thing does stay here where it is nice and high. So this is a great bag. This is a fantastic system. Really like it a lot. Um, it does have a small pocket right here when they do include for you a lens cloth, which is on a tether, so you do get a lens cloth in there, in there uh, which is definitely a nice feature. And there's another thing I like about this that I know as well as out there using it. You could also, I don't think you're going to fit anything else in there, so forget that as even really being a pocket. But they do give you some molly looping here and so uh, right there on the side so that you can attach something if you want to. Again, I want it simple and minimalist. I'm not attaching anything to this. All I want to do is protect my binoculars from the mud and the crap and things like that and keep them from bouncing around. This harness does that for a very affordable amount of money. What I found myself doing is, when, cause when you hit this, I pull it up, I get my binoculars come out like this, and then I'm using my glasses and whatever I'm doing. I put it, see how this is right here in my way? If I'm sitting there and I'm glassing a lot and I want to stay in one spot watching, I'm folding this back. It's kind of a nice feature that you can do that. Just tuck that back, I can just set my glasses right in there like that. I see something again I want to look at, I can use it. I want to take 10 steps closer, I can. This keeps it out of the way pretty nice you know, by folding that lid back over behind me. So I can, you know, use it while I'm using it there if I need to or leave it that way the whole time. The binoculars are tethered, so even if they fall out, they're not going anywhere. But it is a great setup having the option to fold that lid back. And again, don't pay attention to the little black straps there for the Kuyu set. But it's a great system. I'm pretty impressed with it here. It works really good. Fits my binoculars. They are 10 by 42s They fit in here awesome, as you can see. 
Lots of room in there. Uh, this is adjustable for different heights, so if you have bigger binoculars, this lid would just come up higher. Lower ones, it would go down low. Even with these 10x42s in here, you can see that it closes off very well in here. This is very well protected. I definitely like that setup on here, and it's a very comfortable system. Rides well, and, and I, I'm, a, I'm a fan of having that little bit of elastic there. <clears throat> Another thing I like, too, is if you do put on a jacket or take a shirt off, very easy to adjust this. So say that I'm it's starting to get chilly out in the evening, I want to pop this off and put another shirt on. Adjusting this is real simple. You just hit the tabs right here and you can push them out. Okay, and you can slide that and you can see these come loose. You can stick them, they got things you can stick them in that I just kicked it out of. But very easy to have these, you know, you would set these so they would come with it. But like this, very simple uh, to adjust that. Now I got all this extra room for whatever coats I want in there. I come back up and I put that on and I don't have that coat on no more. It's very easy to adjust this tighter if I want that to. So now it's back on good and tight and set. So really simple adjustment, really good easy things. This has one of those adjusters too that I would have this locked under. Not doing it right now again, but simple. What I don't care for is I don't really know if I like these little buckles right here. I understand they got to be somewhere, but with my backpack straps on, with uh, one of my packs doesn't bother me too bad. With the other one, it kind of pushes right on those, they come around a little bit, uh, so that I'd want to tuck in a little tighter. But something to consider. Uh, you have to weigh the options. Is this an overall great bag for the money? It is. It is definitely awesome. Um, very impressed with it. Like I said, it was the one I didn't think I was going to keep, but I wanted to try anyway. And, and now I'm, I'm really in a toss-up as to what I want to do, which bag I want to keep. Like, I, I, I just can't make my mind up. They're both offer these great options. So, But this uh, this Rocky Mountain one here, this one is a, is a fantastic bag. Very easy on and off. And what else is nice is the tethers on here. But see that with that rope thing? that, that Like I said, that's, this, this kind of upsets me how that... Just doesn't stay on there very well, like I wish it would. That should stay better. Um, but they do also give you quick releases on here too, just like the Kuyu. So if you had this on, you wanted to hand your binoculars off or put them on a tripod, you just hit those two clips and they come free from this harness. Very nice and simple setup. So that's basically, that's your uh, Alps Outdoors. Um, great setup. My only real complaint is I'm not a fan of this double rope type system here and, and but it's a very easy fix i could have that fixed in no time at all if i decide i want to keep this one so in the back of it nice air there's actually like waffle pattern in behind here it's ridged so that you get some airflow behind it it keeps you nice and cool so it's a uh like i said very well built very good construction very happy with it i, I have nothing that i can really complain about other than than this design but again, super simple, easy fix to just make that so you only got to use it as one loop. I know why they do it, and they give you all this slack, is so that it works for different binoculars. I'm only carrying these binoculars in here, so I would modify this to make it so it's a simple one loop system and works perfect. Um, so that's that Alps Outdoors, basically, uh, Bino Harness or Extreme Bino Harness. This one again being Rocky Mountain Up Foundation, but minimalist, functional, and works incredible. Now, when it comes to the Kuyu one, with that, the Kuyu is actually a little unique. I don't think there's anything else out there like it because of, I'm going to put it together here so you can see, but because of the way that the actual harness is, it's almost like a two-piece design, which at first I didn't think I'd like, but I actually think it's pretty sweet. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm pretty impressed with this thing. Um, so what we have here is this one right here this is that kuyu bag now compared to the alps this one is a little bit smaller that kuyu bag is a little bit smaller in size narrower a little simpler it's just a little more low profile and a little more compact as you can see um, than the alps is now with this same exact functionality ultra lightweight super thin breathable mesh lining here mesh lining on the back same setup. Now with this one, same kind of concept. Put it right over your head, draw them through there, get it set where you want it, and then you bring the strap around and you connect the strap to the harness right here like this, and you are set. Now with this one here, it sits nice. Uh, again, I'm keep them up high. Want them up there where they're riding at, where they're high. That's my personal thing. These extra strap pieces, again, I haven't decided uh, what I want to do with them yet. So um, that's why you're seeing this extra length on here. But you would cut these and trim them to the size you want. 
Um, but again, very simple to adjust this. If I want it tighter, I make it tighter. If I want it looser, I can hit these tabs, make it looser if for it closed. So it's really simple to figure out what you want to do with both of these for if you're changing outfits out there um, and, and be able to snug them down. Now, this one operates just a little bit different. You still have on each side of this, you have a pocket here, a mesh pocket. You can put your wind detector, anything you want in there. But this one, instead of having latches and things to work, it folds from the top. You got a handle here and you just flip it open. And then there's your binoculars right there. If I fold this way down, you can see that they are actually in a nice plasticky kind of, uh, this is a, a foam wrapped, a piece of foam, and it's, it's a pretty awesome compartment in there that stays pretty rigid and stays open pretty well. The binos fit right in there nice and quiet, and it just folds right over, over the top. So I do like the system, the compact, simple system, um, and I like that there's no buckles here that are interfering. When you look at it from the back, it's very simple, very low profile design and it's a simple setup. These you would tighten. Again, I got the buckles kind of out of reach right now for that if I want to, but, um, but I do love the simplicity of that. It does have a very solid hook and loop system on the bottom and they do make accessories for rangefinders or something that you can put there. This is where I would want it. If I was a compound guy and wanted a rangefinder that was going to carry a GPS with me, I want it here. I don't want it over here in my way again. I would rather have it right there where you just hit it and pull it right out. So I like the fact that they did give you that option on the bottom. There are two tethers down here too so you can actually lock on to whatever your accessory is. And these tethers are also part of an adjustment. So you can loosen or tighten the elasticity of this upper lid to make this tighter or simpler based on your binoculars. Um, and these come in different sizes as well too for bigger or smaller binoculars. So um, this is a fantastic setup. The lid is almost like a moldable plastic piece in here so you can fit it almost the way you want this lineup so that it covers your eye cups kind of what you're looking for in there. So beautiful setup. Sweet, simple, folds right over. What I really like is this one is a lot quieter. This one is very nice. That Alps one is, is a very good system. There's a lot of, not, not a lot of noise, but you can hear more going on. You got this thing flipping up, rubbing against your clothes. Um, there's just more noise in it. Again, not that it's major, um, but you can definitely hear that stuff. This one here is so dead silent and easy to use. And use one handed, run it, figure out whatever you want to figure out, put them back in, drop them right in, and just lift the lid right over. So I do like the simplicity of this and uh, the setup. Some people complain that they don't like the fact that there is no tether from the top that goes to the harness. When I take these binoculars out, this is where my I am connected into, okay? This is what connects them. There's nothing now on this other than around my waist right here, around my chest. That's what's holding this here. Some people don't like the fact that, oh, if I'm moving, that could fall. I've been out trying this all the time. It's not falling. If you leave this way too loose, if I suck in and this is way too loose, you could see where it could wiggle down just a smidge. Not a big deal. The back of the harness is not going to let this go very far. And I do really like the simplicity of it. And again, when you wear it tight and you wear it where you're supposed to, where it's comfortable, it doesn't move at all. It doesn't matter what you're doing or anything, it stays there. Real simple, just drop your binos back in and roll the lid over. So for me, I'm really, really leaning towards this one um, because it is quieter, it is smaller in size, uh, more tighter, simpler, compact design. If I want to add an accessory, I like the fact that if I do, it'll be on the bottom. Like there, I may put a GPS pocket on the bottom of this just to have that right there handy or something like that. It gives me that option to put it on there. But I like that there's no buckles here. This is a minimalist, streamlined, nothing to it, lightweight, breathable, and it does exactly what I want. It is going to protect my binoculars from mud, all that kind of stuff, and keep it, keep it taken care of. So I'm very impressed with it. They do come with, they also give you a rain guard. I don't think I'd ever use it. I'm not afraid of my binoculars getting wet, but if you wanted to, and it, it can even lock to these tether cords under here, and then you can just take this and pull it right on up and over, and there's your rain guard. So now they're 100% waterproof if you wanted to, and you can put that right out of the way, and you can take this thing weighs next to nothing and super small, and you could actually stick it and just jam it if you wanted to right in that pocket, and like I said, it's gone and out of the way. But it's nice to know you have that for torrential downpours if you wanted to. So great setup, fantastic, and it's got very good coverage on this, what I like. Those eye cups are buried up in here pretty well. So when I pop this off and you look at it, and you see that, there's a little gap here on the back 
Again, you can set anywhere you want to on there, but you can squish them down. But you got the, your eye cups are so buried up into that and protected well that no dust is coming in from the sides, even from the back. Your body's right here. No dust or dirt or anything is getting into those, uh, which I, I do really like. Now on the Alps, it's also covered very well, but you still do have these, when you got it on, you have gaps right here, and your eye cups are right there. So you can still get dust and, and crap like that can get in there. Not that it's a major deal, I'm not worried about dust. Me personally, I'm trying to protect them for when I fall on stuff and sticks and brush and crap like that, uh, making them where I gotta clean them off all the time. And, and again, if I'm falling on them, I don't wanna be grinding these things into the mud and dirt and scratching them up. They're, they're not cheap binoculars. Um, so for me, I do like that setup with the Kuyu. So I will have links for both of these down below. This is a lighter weight, quieter, more compact version, which in essence is the reason I think I'm going with this one. Not that this one is bad. This one is incredible. Um, this one here is a, you know, a little bit more, closer to $90 for this one. I think it is $90 bucks for this one, uh, under $50 for this one. It is a very, very, very tough call. Both of them are phenomenal. I'm only going to keep one, so something's got to give. I'm leaning myself towards the Kuyu, but honestly speaking, if I didn't buy both of them and have them both side by side to compare, I would take this. If this was the first one I bought, I'd take this in a heartbeat, fix that front loop so it was only a one loop required. Again, easy to do, and I would love this setup, and it'd be perfect. Um, since I do have both and could compare them side by side, for my needs, I'm leaning more towards this Kuyu one, but you cannot go wrong with either one of them. Both of them are going to do exactly what you want if you're looking for a minimalist binocular style. I do really like this lid a lot better. On this one here, I'm not a fan, really, of this one having to fold up in my face like this as I go to get my binoculars out of there. If you wore them down here, it'd be different. I don't wear binoculars down here. I want them up here where they're tight to my chest and out of the way. I don't want them down here where they're, you know, they're, they're just not where I need them. I want them here. So for me, this is kind of a pain in the butt to deal with, uh, especially being a short guy, but I do like the option of being able to fold it backwards and have it out of the way. So there's pros and cons to each of these. You, you really can't, can't go wrong either way. And again, if you're looking for other options where you want something out there um, that's going to have like pockets on the front to carry more stuff, I'll throw a couple of those down in here for you to check out. Some that some of my buddies use that highly recommend and like them. But for a minimalist style, what I'm going for, um, I don't think you can go wrong with either one of these two. They're both absolutely phenomenal. So uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll talk to you soon. All right, bye.